Good evening and welcome back again. So this week we're into the second leg of the quarterfinal. We'll jump back in um, to the team sheet and see who we're playing today. So today we have changed things around a little bit. We've got Donnarumma in goal for his first start. We've still got two players on international duties, the, the two main centre-backs. <laughs> so Lascelles and Botman continue. Trippy and Lewis as the wing-backs. We're going to try Joe Linton in defensive mid just to give Declan Rice a bit of a rest. And because Joel Linton's on a, on a red. Brian Hill, St. Maximum and Bellingham as the attacking midfielders. And Liao and Isaac up front. We'll just jump into the first half and see how we get on. So let's hope for a good game. This is the second leg and we won the first leg 4-1 I believe it was. So we're fairly comfortable. Um, but you know you don't want to let slip anything. You want to go out and get the first goal and and just treat it as a one-off game almost um, still get that win oh, nice ball out wide to St Maximum Ooh, keep an eye dropped it Nice tackle from Brian Hill there, and a nice ball to Isaac. Wow, he missed through there. Um, who should we have taken this? Got to be Trippier, surely. Yeah. No, I'm terrible at the free kicks in this game. I hardly get any. To be fair, let's go to the wall. Um, I can't remember the last time I had a free kick in any sort of shooting range. Oh, lovely play from Isaac there. That's what he's best at. Um, it was a tight finish though, so did well to get on target. And the game just froze for a second there. Sorry if you saw that on your screen. Not sure you will. If it was just the on my side. Well over hit. Still nearly got on the end of it, but that was a poor pass. Nice ball to St. Maximum, but it's not really in there. Oh, forced to Bellingham though. Risky tackle, but it was uh, a good tackle. Flying in with challenges here. Oh, lovely ball, and St. Maxim was just stretching a little bit too much. Lovely pass there from Hill. I'm really happy with this squad we've got now. We've got a really, really good core group of players who... You know, we've got a really strong starting 11 and another five or six players that can come in as well. Um, you, know, you wouldn't really see we've got any weaknesses in the starting 11. You know, some players are better than others that come in to replace them. Um, Lovely ball, Bellingham, lovely goal that was, lovely, lovely goal, I thought I'd hit the pass too far backwards um, from Bellingham to, to Liao, but it was perfect in the end, I could have shot there, I just felt like the keeper was too close, nice little pass. So we're off the mark, and that's 5-1 on aggregate now, so it's safe to say I think we've won the tie as a whole, but we want to win this match still. 
and ideally we're going to keep a clean sheet. Uh, didn't quite manage to get the full loft on that. Good tackle. Here's Isaac. I was running out of space, had two or three players on me and a last ditch attempt to play the pass. Um it was a difficult one. That was lucky there. That probably should have been a goal. I brought Donnarumma out. Now whether that made the difference I'm not sure because he did narrow the angle a little bit. through to Isaac. Oh, and Isaac wins it back, but just bobbles towards the keeper. Nice header from St. Maximum there. And when I was saying that, I was oh, well over. Again, Don Roma closes the angle, but uh, some questionable defending. Oh, don't get sloppy. That's half time. We'll jump straight back into the second half and see how we get on. And just when I was saying about the squad, I'm happy with it. Gotta remember that pretty much all of the players we've got are still improving. Now there's a couple in there that are getting towards the end of that improvement sort of area, sort of age. The likes of Almiron, uh, Pope. They're not declining. When I've looked at their um, their, their growth graph. They're not declining yet, which is great. So they're still going to be, you know, very, very good players for a while. Um, but it just means they're not going to really improve anymore. Um, we've got these youngsters coming in and... Ooh, hang on. Yeah, ah, well overhead. You know, got different age ranges, like likes of Liao and Bruno, who are like in their early to mid-twenties and... Um, then you've got real youngsters like Brian Hill and Jude Bellingham and you know a good mixture of players in different places um, within their growth cycle I suppose you could call it and that's the key I think but the way I like to play Master League is, is to is to get those young players developing um, keep up keep that cycle going as well, you know. Wonderful skill from Brian Hill there. Oh, over. It was a tight angle and was stretching, but would have been better to take a touch? I don't think so. Um, oh, lovely ball to Brian Hill. Yeah, how has he missed that? Oh wow! Oh, that's a terrible miss. That is a stunningly catastrophic miss. <laughs> Lovely ball through. Liao should score again, and he fails to once again. That's a poor pass. And this is what I mean when I'm talking about being more clinical. And again, you know, good position and he's that gives the ball away. Um, I'm maybe being hypercritical of the players, but... It's 
to the maximum. It's pro ball. Right, let's um I don't know if we'll manage to get these players on anytime soon. Bring some people on. So I think we'll bring on Almiron for Isaac. I think we'll bring on Dest for Trippier, and I think we'll take off Lewis for Davies. Again when the uh and the ball goes out. Good tackle. Is that offside? It is. Ah. I still think of Almon as a really young player, I don't, I don't know why. Um, but he's like 29, I think, now in this season. Nice reverse ball through to St. Maximin. It's crowded. And that is a terrible pass. Oh. He just needs to be anywhere within two or three yards, and um, it was a tap in. Good tackle there. Bellingham. Yeah, can't quite get into it. He wasn't. Didn't react quick enough. I thought the pass was alright. Not sure we didn't get the ball there. You know what? That was honestly, I'm not just saying it, that was totally scripted. The speed of the passing all of a sudden just went bananas there. Like one touch flowing football, which I've never done in a whole match. Um the sort of 30 seconds before that I just couldn't get the ball back. And when that happens, it's... If you've played football games, you'll know what I'm talking about. But um, you can just feel it. You can feel like that ball being pulled towards your own goal. And sometimes there's very little you can do about it. Now, the, f the fault for my part is I should have scored several times... Anyway, a oh, wonderful ball through to Armoron. Where's the players? Liao's done it again. He's done it again. That's two I've hit over the bar from around about six or eight yards. Chance, yeah. And yeah, that was just such a strange game. Wow, how we didn't win that game, I don't know. I mean, technically, we've, we've won the tie, you know, we've won it quite convincing in the end I mean Liao got man of the match how you get man of the match by two shots with an open goal from about six to eight yards and hit over the bar twice in the same match and you get man of the match that's just not right but that's it for this week um next match is against Red Bull Salzburg looks like we've got some players come back from international duty after checking the next match 
but thank you very much for joining me once again hopefully the next match we'll get three points and um, not miss so many chances we'll wait and see um, but if you can like the video leave a comment down below let me know what you think and subscribe if you do like to keep up to date with the channel thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon